I think the other reason they want escalation, which I have no doubt about, uh, is that they have a huge problem on their northern border, the border with Hezbollah. Uh, most accounts say that there are about 200,000 Israelis who have been displaced from their homes, either in northern Israel or in southern Israel. And of course, it's the Gaza conflict in southern Israel that explains what's going on there. So let's say there are 100,000 people. Okay, so if pushing out Arabs from the West Bank and Gaza is in the best interest of Jewish Israelis, why would they not support that, right? Why would any people not support policies that are in its best interest, right? India now, under the BJP for, what, the past 10 years, is finally being governed in the interest of the majority of its population, right? I I'm sure... Many Americans would like to see the United States of America finally governed in the best interests of the majority of its population rather than being hamstrung by all these civil rights laws. Right? Why would any nation not want to be governed by what's in the best interests of the majority of its citizens? Well, from southern Israel who have been displaced by the Gaza conflict, there are another 100,000 who have been displaced by what's going on in the north. And this is a huge problem for the Israelis. And the question is, how do they move those people back to northern Israel until the conflict with Hamas, excuse me, until the conflict with Hezbollah is settled and Hezbollah stops firing rockets, missile and artillery rounds uh, into northern Israel. Well, as long as the war in Gaza goes on, I believe Hezbollah will continue to target northern Israel, again, because of what's going on in Gaza. So what the Israelis would like to do is they would like to use military force. They'd like to escalate. They think they have escalation domination here or escalation dominance here. I think they'd like to escalate against Hezbollah inflict massive punishment on not only Hezbollah, but Lebanon more generally, and work out some sort of modus vivendi with Hezbollah that allows them to move those 100,000 or so uh, Israelis back to northern Israel.